Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Experience, the show where I, Yindi Sagu, and my film crew take you from the biggest expos to the smallest local outings to ask and answer one simple question. Was it worth the experience? On this episode, we're going to be looking at Supernova 2015. Supernova is a pop culture event that's held Australia-wide. In this case, we're looking at the Sydney event that happened between the 19th and the 21st of June 2015. I bought a one-day $32 ticket, and with that, I saw some great things, met some fantastic people, and saw some brilliant cosplay. And with that, we just need to ask, was it worth the price, or was it worth the experience? Let's find out. And uh, yeah, and he's built this fantastic T800 Terminator model. Yeah. And so I just want to ask a few questions. That's all right. Yeah, sure. Um, so how long did it take to make? Uh, it was. It's about a little over a thousand hours that I've been able to keep track of, sort of thing. Wow. Uh, it was made over a four-year period, uh, wow. and it was sort of started as a, a basic project in that arm, and sort of grew and grew and grew, and until you know. Four or five years later, here you see it, sort of thing. And uh, what's it made out of? Uh, it's made from cast aluminium. Mm -hmm. uh, there's over 570 individually cast parts. Right. Uh, and each part had to be sort of tidied up and sculpted and, and tweaked and, you know, to, before it could be finished into the model. And is it fully articulated? Yeah, articulated? Every, every joint that should move does move. Uh, so there's over 280 individual points of movement in the actual sculpture. Um, from the wrists to the fingers to... Uh, all of those sort of bits that, that should work, um, work. Brilliant. Thank you. So is there anything else in the pipeline at all? Or? Yeah, there's loads of stuff. Um, I'm currently working on a Loki staff, um, right. which is going to be made from uh, all brass and all that sort of stuff, and the, the ruins will all light up and all that sort of stuff. I tried to get it done for this, but I didn't have enough time. Uh, I've just recently completed uh, other stuff with the Predator sort of characters, and I'm going to be doing a, a Predator gauntlet. Right. Uh, and again, it'll all be done in full, full metal, full aluminium sort of display. Brilliant. So, thank you very much, Jamie. No and problem. it's a brilliant job. Thank okay. you. Thank Cheers. you very much. Thanks, guys.
How are you today? How are you today, sir? Right, and uh, you know, you got any plans for the weekend? Got any plans for later on? Right. Okay. And uh, have you driven any cars lately? Have you, you know, have you done anything interesting lately at all? No. All oh, right. Okay. Well, uh, you know, what's, how's the trip here from uh, from the UK? Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Formative as ever, that's all right. So, uh, no, so have you, any Australian cars you're hoping to drive? No? Yeah, that's, that's, that's all right. And uh, thank you very much, sir, thank you. Take it here and be, be safe, thank you. We're here with Hayley and Jesse, and they're here from Button Fox. 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 Yeah. <laughs> um, personally, I'm actually a really big fan. Thank, Thank you. you. And just want to ask, um, how do you guys get set up? How do we set up? Yeah, yeah, the conventions? Like, well, no, I mean, like, <laughs> the, the history. Like, oh. what, what oh, made you come okay. into this? So arts? I start from an artistic and design background. Right. And she's more of a costume. I did corsetry first, yeah, yeah. and I got sick of that. So. Um, yeah, so we're kind of doing our own thing, yeah. right, and then. Um, we got together as a couple, yeah. and then we combined our skills into. Yeah, this. we thought, how can we make this? Jesse started designing fabric, yeah. and so I was just like making a few things out of. Oh, people really like this. We could make this a business. So, yeah. Yeah. And that's, yeah, that's what it is. Yes. <laughs> and you've had a Kickstarter campaign as well. Right? Yes, we did. We um, funded our first little plush toy, mm -hmm. which is that. Um, and we're moving on. This is our next one. We're funding this ourselves. So. That's yeah, great. Yeah. Yeah. Same as this little one. Yeah. So that's going to be a little keychain. Yeah. We've got a whole lot of his friends that we're bringing out, but Pat's the next one. He's my favourite, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'll probably buy one as well. <laughs> <laughs> and is there anything else in the pipeline at all? Um, we're working towards more clothing. Yep. Um, we're the one of our projects is a scarf. Yeah, yep. it's been really popular. And we yep. want to do, we, we love ponchos. Because um, so we usually put, we can put the ears on them. But yeah, we probably want to get some of those done. Sort of like little ponchos. Like yeah. Skirts. And we want to do some more. Jesse's always complaining that we don't have enough stuff for boys or men. So we're going to do some more male clothing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. A suit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we want to make a male poncho. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're wearing one right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. Good that's luck right. in the future. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you Cheers. so much.
with uh, Josh, Hayden, and Kat. So before we go on, uh, could you explain how this came about? Um, it came over from the States at first. Mm -hmm. um, we've got the 501st and the Rebel Legion costuming groups. Right. And in the uh, expanded universe with the Star Wars books, right. um, they basically told the story of Boba Fett and how his, uh, his uh, culture, they did different, their own custom colours and armour. Right. And out of that, because a lot of that isn't visually represented in the books, they wanted to do that um, in the States and so they started doing costume armour. They wanted uh, they wanted the standards to be high, as if we stepped out of the books and it, it just went on from there, pretty much. That's, that's really good, that's really good. So, uh, so all the costumes that you've got here today, yep. um, how long did it take to, to make? Uh, it goes, each kit, we call each costume out kits, um, they all vary. I've personally made a full set in one day. Wow. I, but my own personal one, it right. took me a year, wow. and I'm still modifying it. Right. Even though after we get our official membership, mm -hmm. um, which is when we meet all the standards, we are always still changing. It, it depends on um, your budget, the materials That's you want true. to use, because there is a variety of materials you can use. Um, and just your personal um, time restraints and budget and what you want to put into it. Of course, fantastic. And here today you're representing Bear Cottage. Bear Cottage, yep. Um, so yeah, that, how did that come along as well? Was that just, just, just ad hoc or was that... You know, just... So I contacted the Bear Cottage because Mandalorian works, we are predominantly a charity organisation. So I've asked them if we could represent them to raise money for Supernova and for the Children's Hospital. They are attached to the Children's Hospital. It's actually a respite for dying kids, um, children with disabilities, and, and it helps the family as well. It's really good for us. We're also doing superhero week, so that's another another extra for uh, for the, the raising money for Bear Cottage. It is on the twentieth, on the twenty fourth of July, and it, it's government organisation, sort of like the biggest morning tea, that sort of thing. So it's something else we are promoting for. Well, I've, I've actually, I've personally actually been a patient at the Children's Hospital when I was a lot younger, and, and they do do a fast, fantastic job as well. So thank you very much, guys, and, yeah, and we'll sign off. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Chef, hello sir, how are you? Any new recipes along coming along the way? Right. And now what are your thoughts on MasterChef? Is Reynold gonna win? Mm, yes, I think the same way of George Columbaris as well. I'm not much of a fan. And the um, and the, the upcoming um, you know the upcoming TV shows that are coming regarding cooking. Are you are you a fan? Yeah, 
Fantastic. If invited, would you take part? Fantastic. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Swedish chef on his thoughts on today's cooking culture. Thank you. Good to happen. Good to good. Likewise. Mm. That was Supernova 2015. Was it worth it? Hell yes. There was one thing, however, that got to me. <laughs> too many Jokers and Harlequins. Come on, people. They're just two people out of so many. So, so many in the pop culture world. Let's get a bit of variety happening. We don't need that many. And with that, there's not much else to say. I enjoyed it, and my team enjoyed it. We hope to see Supernova next year. We hope to see you for the next experience. Cheers.